Hey there, welcome to tutorial number 11 of the Easy jQuery series part of easyprogramming.net. In today's tutorial we'll learn about the each method in jQuery to loop through arrays. This is very similar to the for each loop that I showed you in the Easy JavaScript series and Easy Programming which I have here. The syntax is on the website as well as a couple of examples in a video. Uh, the syntax there is pretty much array.foreach, capital E, and then you pass in a callback function that has sends in two arguments, the item, the value, the object itself, uh, and then the index, and you do stuff with it. The each method in jQuery can be executed two different ways. So the first way is to send in the array as an as a jQuery object, uh, followed by each, and then you pass in a callback function which takes in an index and an item. So if you notice that the two arguments that you send to the callback function is reversed from the for each method in JavaScript, which is you send in the item or the value itself of that specific array and then the index. In jQuery, it's the index first followed by the uh, item itself, and then you execute whatever. The second way of doing this is to target the jQuery object itself. So you can use the dollar sign or you can use the jQuery keyword here, uh, as I've shown you in the first jQuery video ever. Uh, each and then you pass in two arguments. The first argument is the array itself and the second argument is a callback function which you pass in the index and the item and then you do stuff to it. So in this tutorial we're gonna convert what we learned in our for each method tutorial in JavaScript and convert this into both of these types in jQuery. So once I run this you get what you see here and you know, I have uh, an array of called my array of seven different cities uh, in the United States and I'm using the for each to output them into HTML so I'll change this up and target well I'll change my array to a Java uh, to a jQuery object by putting in the dollar sign in front of it and encasing it in parentheses that's all we need I'll change the for each to each the function stays the same the I and the item that'll need to change because remember the index comes first followed by the item itself or the value and then here what I'll do is I get rid of all of this and instead of doing document I get element by ID I'll target uh, output dot append right. and then do this blah 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 okay cool so now if I run it the output did not change it's because the code is exactly exactly the same just looks a little bit different I'll also actually do something a little cool here and I'll actually put in I'll create a list item right, because this is uh, an or ordered list create a list item object here Stop closing we'll do append and I'll close this and if I run it now, you get one, 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 one. So now I don't have to do this. I can just send in item. I don't need to do BR either. Oh, but there we go. Looks a lot neater. The code is also uh, much neater, right? Pretty simple. So I'm just gonna copy this and change how we're gonna look at the second method of writing this each function. So instead of targeting the my array object, I'll just target jQuery itself. So remember, you can do dollar sign. You can write in jQuery. Do dollar sign because it's Cooler, and then we pass in two functions, uh, two arguments to the function, and we'll do my array, and then this function here stays exactly the same. Uh, and I'll target it to output two, which I have set up here. Okay. Let's update and run it. And there we go. So, hold on. Just add a bunch of BRs here so you can see it. Um, JS Fiddle is freaking out on me. Trying this new, uh, this this tabbed layout uh, doesn't seem to like it very much. But anyway, added some more line breaks here, and you can see the result of both of these is exactly the same. Uh, they are are not they're not going to give you different results. So either way you want to use it is perfectly fine. Uh, well, anyway, I hope you've learned how to use the each method in jQuery. Practice, practice, practice. You'll get really used to it. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below or on easyprogramming.net. If you have suggestions for newer topics, please do let me know. And come back to the next jQuery tutorial to see what I have in store for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.